Attorneys for the man convicted of killing a Manchester police officer will argue before the state Supreme Court today that their client should not have received the death penalty. Michael Addison was sentenced to death for the 2006 murder of Officer Michael Briggs. Today will mark the first time that New Hampshire Supreme Court hears arguments on whether the death sentence was fair compared to similar cases nationwide. WMUR's Ray Brewer joins us live now from the Supreme Court in Concord with all the details. If the court decides to uphold the death sentence and it's carried out, Michael Addison would be the first person executed in New Hampshire in more than 75 years. Advocates on both sides of the issue will be watching this closely. When the jury came back to impose the death penalty, I was shocked. Former prosecutor Barbara Keshen says that's how she reacted in 2008 when she heard Michael Addison was sentenced to death for killing Manchester police officer Michael Briggs two years earlier. No one has been executed in New Hampshire since 1939, and opponents of the death penalty say it should stay that way. None of us are infallible, and until there's an infallible system, I don't believe that the state should be in the business of putting to death one of its citizens. Addison is the only inmate on death row in New Hampshire. Now the state Supreme Court must decide if his death sentence is disproportionately harsh compared to the verdicts in similar cases in other states. But this could be difficult given New Hampshire's unique capital somebody. punishment law. New Hampshire is unique in that it's the only state, well except for Delaware, that requires a lesser mental state um, to be death penalty eligible when, when an officer is involved and killed in uh, in a crime. However, the president of the Association of Chiefs of Police says any officer involved murder should be punished. When there's an attack on a police officer, it's not just an attack on that individual, it's an attack on our freedoms. Last April, the state legislature came close to repealing the death penalty law. It passed the House but split in the Senate, and thus the measure failed. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.